Welcome to Comfort Hour number two. This is the last video that I'm making tonight. This is about the elementary school shooting in Texas, okay? So a lot of the videos have been coming across my FYP on TikTok. And we're going to talk about that. And I'm upset. All right? I'm upset. Because one, I'm a veteran in the United States Army. Infantry. My job was to go in. Now, I'm not a cop. I don't know how that shit works. But I do have army training. All right? I got probably the best training on the universe when it comes to being calm in a situation. Doesn't mean it's going to work. Because people are different. When, when you're with your platoon and you are trained, you know not to let everybody in that platoon down. You know that you all function well. You know that your warrior ethos is in your pocket and that is a living reminder of what you are supposed to do. Period. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never leave a fallen comrade. And we're not going to do the third one, the fourth one, just for the simple fact that I probably did that shit out of order. And there may be some people here who are trying to um, impersonate people because of stolen valor. But for the record, is this the right one? Nope, that's not the right wallet. This is the right wallet. And I almost did that wrong. I put the last one over number three, which is I will never quit. Okay? Those are your main warrior ethos. They are highlighted. It's part of the soldier's creed, but it's your warrior ethos. The soldier's creed, we're not going to do that just because of the simple fact that if there's anybody doing stolen valor, the, the words of the soldier's creed is the best way to catch them. No, it ain't. Because it's the um, easiest way for them to fake it. I can't even remember the infantry code. I have it. I have it over there somewhere. Hold it up in a piece of paper. Highlight it. Oh, this is Spike, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see him. Say hi, Spike. He's actually about like the fourth or fifth Spike I've actually made. But let's get off the of Stolen Valor and get on to this video about these police officers who waited 40-some-odd fucking minutes to um, go in and save these children, which they didn't. As a man, I fear death. No, I don't. I fear where I'm going after I die. Because one thing I have accepted in life, especially after infantry training, is that we are all leaving this world. We ain't got no say in the matter. It doesn't matter how we want to go. When your time is up, when your number is cashed, that's it. These children's lives were taken. Their numbers weren't up. Their numbers were never going to be up. They have prominent lives set ahead of them. But some little 18-year-old jackass decided, hey, I'm just going to go fuck up everybody. And y'all think he's the monster. The real monsters are the cops, man. The real monsters are the cops who were trained to go in and do their fucking job. What did they do? They stopped the parents from going in. Yeah, it might have been a bigger bloodbath. But an adult life loss compared to a child's life loss is no comparison. No child should ever be murdered. No child should ever be assaulted, molested, or any of the other worst possibilities that could happen because a child cannot defend themselves. A fucking elementary kid cannot defend themselves. They didn't come up in Generation X time. I learned how to fight at six years old. It was by force. It wasn't by course. I'm not like every other six-year-old when I was six. After school, we're going to fight. After homework, we're going to fight. It was no option for me. You guys weren't growing up in that time. The 80s was a different time. The 70s and the 80s was a different time. I'm 48, so you can imagine by the time 1978, 79 came around, my uncles and them already had me roughed up and fucking fighting people. These kids these days don't do that. Because education is a better way. You would think that the officers would have just said, fuck it. Let's go in and get this bastard. 40 minutes. 40 minutes is a lifetime to a child. Because a child that young has no concept of time. They know they go to school in the morning, they get out in the evening, they see mom and dad when they go home. They see mom and dad when they leave to go to school. The only thing a damn child ever thinks about 
is food, play, school. When I was a kid, all I thought about was going to school, playing, coming home and eat, go back to school the next day. Never dawned on me at my age when I was six years old, seven years old, or eight years old, that I could be killed. Never dawned on me. Never in a million years has my generation X ever dealt with some shit like that until Columbine happened. Prior to Columbine, you rarely ever heard of anybody having any school shootings. And if you had heard of it, I didn't hear of it because little kids didn't really watch the news. Yeah, I watched Entertainment Tonight, which was news, but not news. No. Didn't have Inside Edition when I was six years old. Had Entertainment Tonight. Don't remember who the actual original host was, because when I started watching Entertainment Tonight, um, John Tesh and the Hot Blonde, I think it's Mary Hart. I'm sorry, Mary Hart, if that's you, you were the Hot Blonde, but you're the only two I remember from Entertainment Tonight. I do not watch Entertainment Tonight. In fact, I actually stopped watching when John Tesh left the show, because I was in love with his wife, Connie Selica. Irrelevant. What is relevant, though, is that these people who have sworn to serve and protect us, civilians, didn't do their fucking job. They literally did not do their job. So I'm going to try to end this right now as we say the Lord's Prayer and we pray for the families of those who have lost their children. We pray to the friends that survived, that they are not um, riddled with survivor's guilt for the rest of their lives, because they're going to have some hard lives going forward. They were freaking elementary school kids. And these cops, you're beyond redemption. I'm sorry. You're beyond redemption. You're worse than the fucking monster that took these kids' lives. And if y'all got a problem with that, I'm sorry. But they are. Our Father who art in heaven, how will be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy shall be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For you are the power, the glory, and the light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray to you for the lost souls in Texas. I pray to you for their families to find some means of salvation. While they are in these hard times, I pray that you lift them up and that you carry them until they are strong enough to carry themselves, which means you're going to be busy, God, because there is no healing from the loss of a child, especially one so young. These innocent children did not deserve to be gunned down. The monster that sent them to you does not have a place at your table. And if he does, you should automatically send him to Lucifer. Heavenly Father, I know you forgive all who pray for forgiveness. I do not pray for that one lost soul who took the lives of so many. Unless my prayer is that you send him slam the hell and that he never leaves the sea of eternal flames. Or at least not long enough until I can get down there and show him what it's done. Please forgive me for this prayer, God. But only forgive me for the hatred part. Because this has brought out the monster in me. But I pray that you lift these families, these young, innocent children that have to go through this traumatic experience for the rest of their days. Give them strength. Give them wisdom. And please bless them as they live out the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. Amen. That being said, I'm going to end the video right there. I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. If you guys aren't religious, then don't watch this part of the video. Be seeing you.